my homemade cold smoke generator. I don't know about you guys, but I've been craving some homemade beef jerky. And I decided to start making my own smoker, but before I did, I wanted to make the, the generator first, the cold smoke generator. It's like the heart of the whole deal. I just went to the Lowe's. Well, it took me about an hour to make the whole thing, about 30 minutes to find the parts, about 30 minutes to assemble it. It's just 3 8 inch pipe. Four inch stick here, three, you know, a T, some nipples into a flange, bolted them, drilled a hole down the center of the uh, can here. The can is just a quart size paint can you can find in your paint department at Lowe's. Put a couple legs on it, just some uh, bolts, and drilled some holes in the bottom here. Nothing too fancy. The whole idea is to smoke your meats with cold smoke and not have a, like an actual fire source um, but you have to have some kind of air to push to push air through the tea which sucks which forces air underneath up and out so I would have this end mounted in my smoker somewhere um, I cut my air hose and as you can see I've got my compressor out I, you can use a compressor, it's just it kicks on every five minutes or something and it's pretty it's pretty loud. So I need to get like a a, a fish tank pump. Um so that's that. First part of me, I'm not a video guy. Anyway, let me show you how it works. Let's see if I can do all this with one hand. Okay. I've got some you just use some regular wood chips or pellets or you could probably use sawdust as long as it's you know hickory or oak or mesquite but I've got some wood chips prepared here Let's see how messy I am kind of getting in there okay I used the same wood chips a little bit earlier when I was testing it out alright got some wood chips in there as you can see I would probably fill this up all the way if I was going to do like an 8 or 10 hour smoke Put the lid on it, and then we hammer it down. Okay, that's good enough. All right, now put a little air on it, which this is just a copper tube. Uh, little brass fitting to a quarter inch air line hooked up to my air compressor line just a couple feet the whole idea though is to make sure it's when it sits in there it just goes right past that T just a little bit so it's on the other end of this nipple here by the flange go ahead and insert that you'll cut the air on a little bit you Pardon me if you hear the compressor. It's quite loud. I don't have a cord hooked up to it yet. I'll give it a little bit of air. I can hear it. I'm sure you guys can hear it. Give it some fire now. Okay. I don't know if you can see the smoke, but it's definitely billowing out of there. Let's step back a little bit. Yeah, you can see it. But that's the idea. It's cold smoke blowing out cold. Let me crank it up just a little bit. I got her going. This will be part one of my smoker, and I am going to be making some awesome beef jerky pretty soon. But that's it. it. Took me about an hour to build, about 30 minutes to find the parts, about 30 minutes to put it together, hour total. 
and they retail these things. I've seen them from a uh, couple hundred dollars to you know 80 bucks. I built this thing for like 20 bucks, 20, 25 dollars. And uh, hope you guys join me to, for part two. I'm hopefully next weekend building my smoker. All right, adios.